Hey friends, it's Rachel. Welcome back to my channel. I'm actually wearing my Valentine's Day gift from my husband. We were in Walmart the other night and I picked it out. It was only $15. And I said, this is what you're getting me for Valentine's Day. My husband's like, you know, I wouldn't mind getting you something real, but I don't think I'd like it anymore if it was $1,500. And then if I lost it, I'd feel bad. Come to think of it, I think it is real crystal, which I know isn't probably a big deal, but it's pretty. And I bought this white sweater from Walmart too that night. So anyway, enough about that. Um, I'm gonna be decorating my dining room for Valentine's Day. I decided to do something a little different this year. I decided to keep up my tree. And as you can see, I decorated that off camera. So I'll show you a closer look at how I decorated that for Valentine's Day. And then we'll start on the rest of my dining room. And so um, let's just get started. Here's just a quick overview of my dining room already cleaned and ready for decorating. I changed out the wreath that was here. So this is similar but different. Actually, this was the wreath that was on my mirror over on the other side of my dining room for Christmas. Of course, I'll be decorating my hutch. I'll also be doing a tablescape for you as well as decorating my buffet over on this side. And then here is my Valentine's Day tree. I have a little bit of red in this room, but mostly the focus is pink. You can see that's carried over into my tree. I have these little sparkly Dollar Tree picks and then these lighter pink hearts from Hobby Lobby. You'll see those more. And then I left on the little snowball ornaments from Christmas. And then at the very top, I just used some of those sparkly picks from Hobby Lobby. I do love the look of ribbons on a tree, and you may remember for Christmas I had some burlap ribbons on here as well. It was kind of mixed in like every other ribbon, so I just pulled off the burlap and left the white ribbon. Since this is my first time doing a Valentine's Day tree, I'd love to know in the comments if any of you have ever done a Valentine's Day tree too. This is my second Valentine's Day tiered tray that I've done this year because I included one in my winter tiered tray video. This book stack was from Hobby Lobby, and come to think of it, I think almost everything here is from Hobby Lobby, either this year or in previous years. I do like the little light up things like this and then this little tree. However, I don't like the button batteries. They're so expensive. And then this ladder was definitely a last year purchase from Hobby Lobby. I think the fairy lights here were from Walmart, but I know you can find them on Amazon and honestly pretty much everywhere. So per usual, I usually start off with the bigger items. That's why I'm starting with the book stack and then these bowls. I must confess, I would rather add some candy to these bowls, but I am really trying to behave myself lately. So I'm just gonna add these fake snowballs as it is. You know how I always go to candy crazy on my coffee bar? Well, I'm gonna do that again for Valentine's Day, so. But then, I mean, Valentine's Day is kind of based around candy. I mean, what holiday isn't, right? But I think Valentine's Day more so than some of the others. I know that sparkles and glitter sometimes gets a bad rap, but I think Valentine's Day is the perfect time to bring it out. I don't think it looks cheesy. Honestly, I think it's fine for Christmas and any time of year. I like glitter, sparkles, sprinkles. It's all happiness as far as I'm concerned, and if you like to decorate with it, you should do it. I'm just adding a painted Jenga block for a little bit of height under my tear tray sign. And then after this, I'm going to add some of those fairy lights and kind of wind them around. Now, pop quiz for any of my viewers that have seen other tear tray videos that I have done. And the question is, what is different about this tear tray in comparison to all the other tear trays that I've done on my channel? And it isn't the lights, it's something else. What am I missing? I will tell you at the end, but I'm just curious how many of you have noticed. I always like to add in different shapes and textures, so I'm bringing in some of the soft hearts from Hobby Lobby. So the answer to my pop quiz question, you may have guessed it, is that I didn't use any greenery on this tray at all. And I don't think I've ever done that. I honestly didn't miss it, I thought I might, but I just like the pink and white and the purity of that for whatever reason this time. Did you guess that? I'm wondering, if you guessed it, I'd love to know in the comment box. 
this tiered tray is going to go on my hutch. It's the perfect place because that little black box that belongs to the lights is going to tuck right into the corner, hidden from view. For anybody new who may be wondering about that key sitting there, that key belongs to my nephew and I'm borrowing it. He's 12. He found it in his backyard with his metal detector and he likes when I show it on my videos. He's one of my biggest fans. This birdcage was a local find from one of, I always want to say it the wrong way, it's not my decor stores. It's one of the stores local to me that carries decor. I always struggle with how to say that. But it is my first time using the birdcage, and so I'm always excited to use things for the first time. Are you like me in that when you buy something, whether it's a sweater or a pair of shoes, you have to wear it as soon as possible? I like this greenery because it's kind of spring-like, but it's also kissed with a little bit of snow. Does that work? Kissed? I mean, we're talking about Valentine's Day, so... Because I kept up my Christmas tree and turned it into a Valentine's Day tree, and because we're still, especially in Wisconsin, very much feeling winter here, I did want to keep in a lot of these hints of winter, so you'll see that throughout the decor I'm using today. This little picture was from Ross. When I bought it, it had the chip already in it, and I pointed it out, and they gave me like 10% off, which isn't a lot, but I figured I was just going to probably use it for decor anyway. The cake stand riser was from Home Goods, and then this little wreath was from Hobby Lobby this year. And then to the wreath, I'm going to add these little Walmart houses. And then I also have lights for them. I'm going to use my balloon lights. I don't want to say too much about them because I know I have been talking about them a lot lately. But they're called balloon lights. I'm guessing you can put them in balloons. I don't. I just use them in little houses in places where I need a lot of light. Um, like where a tea light would go, but they're less expensive than tea lights. I picked up this heart wood bowl from Hobby Lobby. If you couldn't see the price, it was $13.99. And if I didn't mention it before, all of Hobby Lobby's Valentine's Day things are 40% off. I did slip a command strip there to make the little pink bowl stick and stay upright. I'm pretty sure Hobby Lobby still carries these lanterns. Next, I'm going to be decorating the top of my hutch, and I'm starting off with this aged vase. This was another purchase from a local decor store. I think I said it right that time. And then these trees are glass trees that I purchased from Amazon. The first set they sent me, they sent me them in a bag, a plastic bag. I'm not even kidding. And one of the trees made it and the other one broke. I was surprised either of them made it at all. And then I'm going to add this sign on top of some of my old hymn books. I do play piano, so I have a lot of old hymn books. I know that signs are kind of going out too, but I like a few signs. Maybe not all over my house, but I still think there's a place for those too. Now, you'll see a little later on in the video, I actually came back and added one more thing to the top of this hutch. I just got to looking at it, and I started to think it needed something else on the right side behind the sign to kind of give a little more balance. And in just a moment, we'll move over to the opposite side of the dining room where I have my buffet. I'll decorate there, and then we'll do the centerpiece and tablescape. So for those of you who didn't see my last video where I showed how I put this garland together, it's just a ribbon looped through the back of these hearts. The hearts are wrapped in yarn, so there's no sewing required. You really just thread the ribbon through. And fortunately the ribbon was light enough so I could just use some tape and hide it in the back of the mirror. I think it turned out pretty good. The only thing is I kind of wish I had more ribbon in hearts to add like a second row hanging down. I just think that would be pretty. Maybe even three rows. I printed this off from Etsy and put it in a frame. 
By the way, if you've ever wondered how to buy prints from Etsy or somewhere online and then have them printed off at Walgreens for you, I did a video on that recently, so I will link that if you're interested in watching it. I thrifted this face recently for $2.98. I like to keep the tags on because then I remember how much I paid for them, but I also wanted to cover up the tag a little bit because it shows one of the local towns next to me and I'm kind of trying to keep that private. There's so many weirdos online. And then I have this Radon heart and I like the XOXO on it, but because I'm going to put it next to the sign, I decided it would look too busy, so I turned it around. I've had this lantern for a long time and I really like it, but almost every time I look at it, I tell myself, I think I need to hit that with a little bit of paint because although it has that shabby chick look, I think it's a little overdone for my home, if that makes sense. You can barely see the light in there, but when I have a nice bright light in there at night, it really makes some pretty shapes on the wall. After I get done decorating the shelves on this buffet, I'm going to move over to my table and decorate my table for Valentine's Day. Now, even though this is a buffet, obviously, in fact, it's a recent purchase of mine. I purchased it, I wanna say last fall. Anyway, um, because we homeschool, I needed a place to put our textbooks. So that's what I'm currently using this buffet for. So there's no dishes in it. That said, I do love dishes. When I go to a thrift store, I almost have to steer clear of the dishes area because I just want to buy it all. And they sell dishes so cheap now at thrift stores. So that's one of my weaknesses, aside from chocolate. I think this little piece of greenery either came off the tree or a wreath, but either way, I just kind of found it on the floor. And I was like, eh, why not? These two little pink birds were from Hobby Lobby. I did already use one on the shelf above this. So there's a little girl and boy. I think they're such cute little lovebirds. Now I'm moving on to my table. And in this case, I'm gonna mix some evergreens with this Silver Falls bush from Hobby Lobby. And then I'm going to add this heart that's also from Hobby Lobby, but not from the Valentine's Day section. These faux cupcakes were from Amazon last year, and so I'll try to link those if you're interested. And then I am using this Hobby Lobby heart garland also. Now I will come back and decorate the table off camera and then show you how that looks at the end. But in the meantime, I'm just gonna decorate this little corner next to my buffet. And if you recall, I said I wanted one more piece for the top of my hut that was an afterthought. And so I went with this wreath. It is technically a spring wreath, but I think for Valentine's Day, you can mix a little bit of spring with winter. Here's how my table looks, all set and ready for Valentine's Day. The glasses were from Dollar Tree. I think the plates were from the Dollar Tree. I had the napkins stored away from a previous Easter, but you definitely do not have to spend a lot of money to have a simple but elegant tablescape. And before I conclude this video, I'm just going to give you a quick overview of the areas that we decorated. As you can see, when I was filming, I was losing daylight really fast. As far as I'm concerned, daylight savings can't come soon enough. I think there is a state in the United States that doesn't do daylight savings. I can't remember where that is, but honestly, sometimes I wish they would just do away with it all together. But yeah, I'm looking forward to the light, especially since the other night my husband hit a deer on his way home. The roads were pretty bad, but you know, if you, if you combine that with the darkness, it's kind of a recipe for that kind of problem. So we're down to one vehicle right now, which I'm not thrilled about because I'm kind of stuck at home. I guess on the bright side, I've been doing less shopping because I can't go anywhere and more decorating. So I guess that's a bright side, although there's always Amazon <laughs> and I probably shouldn't say this, but I have probably 20, okay, maybe not 20, but I definitely have 12 things right now in my Amazon cart but I haven't actually hit the pay now yet because I know I'm not gonna buy all of those. And then sometimes I think, I hope I never accidentally hit the pay now. Yeah, that would be bad. Mm -hmm. 
I do plan to do at least one more Valentine's Day video for you before Valentine's Day gets here. Primarily that will be in my kitchen, but I'll probably show a few other areas also. But yeah, Valentine's Day is coming so fast. And then spring decorating is up after that. So that's really exciting to me because I love spring. That's all I have for you today. Oh, don't forget to like this video. I know I always ask, but it really does help me out. So thank you for doing that. Um, but that's all I have. Thank you again for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay warm and as always, stay thankful. Mm -hmm.